Hey, what's up guys? Gary G here with Stay Sick Auto Detail in Fresno, California. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through my trailer and how it's all set up, how it uh, gets me through my day and uh, delivers the best results I can possible for my customer. Go ahead and stay tuned. All right, bro. Walk me through your setup. Okay. Um, start with the heart of it, the generator. This is a Predator 3500 inverter generator. This is probably one of the most popular that, that uh, detailers use because it's sub $1,000. Uh, it's really quiet and it produces enough power to run most of what we do. So I got that from Harbor Freight. Um, it's been great. I haven't had any issues. Every now and then, if I run too much, usually when it's combined with a steamer, it'll pop the breaker on there, but I don't really run into it that often. So, um, and then from there, I, I got a bunch of stuff going on. I'll start over here. I have all of my uh, wheel brushes from the face of the wheels to scrubbing the tires to you know, uh, for the wheels, uh, the barrels of the wheels, the fender wells. This is my extendable wand that I use like on semi trucks or taller vehicles to get the top. Um, right here I have these quick connects that I made uh, for my MTM wand and for my MTM foam cannon. I just think it's good presentation, it looks clean. Um, I got this idea from a channel called Suds and Go uh, on YouTube. You'd have to look it up, but he has, he actually sells them but I just decided to make them myself. So I got those here. Uh, moving over to this side, I have the Mac Shine uh, detail brush holder. Everything from Detail Factory to cheap Amazon stuff to uh, the one I use on interior from Auto Envy. I got my headlamp, my Milwaukee headlamp that I use. This is a glass cleaning tool, it's awesome. Helps to get you know on the, the windshields. Uh, I got my business cards here. If anybody wants them, it's nice and easy, it's right here. These are Max Shine, uh, I believe they're 16 ounce holders. So I got two of these here. Uh, everything that I use, bead maker, tire shine, wheel acid, super clean, optimum no rinse. Down here I have a few different things. Here's super clean straight up in an aerosol can, mirror finishes, soap for the foam can and glass cleaning, auto envy matrix I always talk about. Um, trim shine, shines up the plastics. That's pretty much that section there. Uh, from here starting top I have two bins here this is all drying towels everything for the paint is going to be the green towels these are cheaper towels that I use for door jams for wiping down dashes glass towels and in here I have uh, a lot of various things I have just different brushes uh, drill brushes different attachments leather brush I have the for real pet hair removal brush some detail brushes just a bunch of the random stuff that I didn't want to just be, uh, just, you know, hanging around. I have it on here. All my steamer tips are on there too. So I got that. I have a, this is a 50 foot Flex Zilla uh, extension cord reel. This thing is awesome. It retracts and, and it's just really smooth. I got that on Amazon. This is a Diablo 50 foot air hose reel from uh, Harbor Freight. Um, and then here, I think this is just a uh, oh yeah, general pump reel manual and I have a uh, Uberflex 50 foot hose here which is pretty much the same as the Flexzilla. It's actually the same pattern I found out. <coughs> and then under here I have my MTM wand. Also MTM brand. This is an extension wand for my, my pressure washer here. Everything's held on by these little bulldog clips. Same thing over here. They're just, they came in a pack from Amazon. And it just makes it easy to mount things to the wall and make it look clean. Uh, from here, everything that I attach to my air compressor, Vortex cleaning tool. Uh, this is for uh, straighter valves, right? So it's filling up the pressure in the um, sprayer here. I got my buckets. Um, and then over here, I have my glove holder. This I have over here holds some measuring cups and funnels for putting stuff in like smaller bottles and whatnot, just some random stuff. My pressure washer tips are in there too. Um, detail guards, these things are awesome. They go under the wheels and these roll. So these, uh, <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> so you put those underneath the wheels, right? So your hoses don't get stuck and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, these these actually go underneath the, the tires. They go in and when the hose goes past them, it rolls on this as opposed to getting stuck under the tire. Okay. So these are really awesome. Almost everybody's using these too. They're just great. Now out of your whole setup, right? Well, first of all, let, let, let's address one thing. Yeah. You have a trailer. Got a trailer. So why the trailer, not a van? 
Uh, honestly, it was a cost thing. Okay. Uh, One-time payment versus a monthly. Okay. Uh, that's what it came down to me. Um, was I found out I can get a trailer. This is a five by ten. I had a custom made for mm -hmm. me in black uh, at a local company for forty three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Um, all the used trailers on marketplace and everything were going for even more than that. And uh, for a Ford Transit, which is what I would ultimately like to go to, mm -hmm. uh, for the mileage I'm looking for, starting close to twenty thousand. Wow. So instead of having two payments, payment on my truck and a payment on a new vehicle, yeah. I went this route since I already have a truck. Okay. But that's this is the short term. Hopefully within a year or so, I'll add a van okay. or get rid of this trailer. Okay, so you are looking to possibly upgrade to a van. I would love to. Yeah, really? Yeah, I would love to. I would love to get a van. The main reason is uh, my truck is terrible gas mileage. Oh, <laughs> man. I saw you have, what is it, 5.7 Hemi? It's a Hemi. Oh, man. Powerful, but you get terrible gas mileage. And then on top of that, this trailer and truck setup takes up about 40 feet. Yeah. Instead of about 15 to 17 feet for like a van. Okay. <coughs> now, what's your most expensive uh, piece of equipment? It would be the generator. The generator? So you have a whole side of a trailer, right? Oh yeah, that's that's honestly only the last three feet or so of it. There's about another uh, seven feet with all the rest of the stuff. The idea was everything that I use most often I want back there, so it's yeah. efficiency, right? Okay. Everything everything over here is for bigger stuff, usually, or what I couldn't fit back there. Okay. Wait, now, now before we go in there, mm -hmm. You're right. This thing is blasted, right? <laughs> blasted. Like I said, I wanted obnoxious. Yeah. How much was that? It was uh, 1900 1900 1900 for the design, everything okay. else. The logo was already made by my brother-in-law. Um, I literally just told him, like, dude, I just want a license plate, like a classic California vibe that says stay slick, auto detail, and just was exactly what I wanted. And it's not, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Yeah. You know, it's not any crazy It looks good, it, though. That's what I wanted. It looks good. <laughs> Now, I see why you say that you have an issue with gas. There's the Hemi. <laughs> Not to mention, I lifted it. I got 22s on it. It's a good looking truck, but I get about 12 at best. Oh, really? I get about 12 miles a gallon at best. Wow. Yep. All right. Especially, this is a, a pretty heavy trailer, too. Yeah. All right, so I'll take you inside. Uh, first thing, I'm going to have to take this out anyways. But this is a step platform that I use for taller vehicles. I just got it from... I think this one was a Harbor Freight one too. Uh, so you use that to like to wipe the top of the vehicles? Yeah, or? get to the top, lift the trucks, um, polishing the roofs, you know, things like that. Have you ever fell off of it? Uh, I haven't fallen off of it, but this is not the best stool, so it sways a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. So you did. Okay. It does. So there is a possibility. Yeah, there is a possibility. So <laughs> okay. Bit, so I'm going to jump in here and yeah. I'll show you. So my blower is the Ryobi 40 volt. Uh -huh. That's the one I use to blow dry. It works really good, man. I got no problems with it. I got it at uh, one of those corner spots, like our, the Ramate, man. They were selling okay, it, it was yeah. brand new. It had been returned, it was almost brand new. I got two batteries and the blower for the price of just the tool alone when you buy it new. So, oh, dang. Yep. So I'll start from top down. Right here I have a Max Shine polisher holder. This is a Max Shine M15 Pro uh, corded polisher. And I actually just bought this. I'm really, really liking this. The SPTA cordless polisher. This thing is awesome, man. I'm really digging it. So I got that going too. Um, below there, I have anything extra, polishes, uh, air fresheners, you name it. Goo Gone, extra foam cannons. Down here, I got my gallon soaps. So I got all that extra stuff there. And then right here, these are all my polishing pads. Everything from microfiber, polishing all the way up to cutting. Three inch, I have a three inch polisher too. So I got a little three inch hex logics from uh, Chemical Guys. Right here, I got my two uh, vacuum hoses, my normal vacuum hose. And this is the uh, vacuum hose from my DIY carpet extractor. Uh -huh. If you guys look on my YouTube channel, you'll see I did a video on how to make that out of your shop vac. So I would recommend that if you want to save some money or you have a shop vac, it only costs about an extra 150 bucks and it just saves you from having to spend close to a thousand dollars for wait mighty. so you made your own extractor made my own got a mighty extractor wand with the attachments on a uh, vacuum hose and uh -huh. it attaches straight to the normal rigid vacuum right there and it works like an extractor you just hook it up to a hose for water and it's awesome <laughs> i got a, i got a video on my youtube channel about that that's awesome yeah so then uh from here now, where's your water tank yeah 
Oh, it's in there. So okay. water tank. I wanted to try to make everything blend in. Yeah. You open it up. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a 90 gallon water tank. I got that from Auto Envy, uh, the place here locally. I got my Ryobi pump here, which I'm not really a huge fan of it because it's a continuously running pump. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to switch over to, I believe it's made by Northern Tools. Somebody put me onto it in the comment section of my video. Okay. That you can hook it up to like your truck, to uh -huh. the power of your truck, and it'll only come on when you need it to. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna switch over to one of those eventually. But I got, um, what I have, since this continually runs, I have a recirculation thing. When mm -hmm. I'm not using my, my pressure washer, it diverts the water back up and into the tank so it doesn't burn the pump out. So yeah. it's constantly running. Okay. So I got that. And then this goes to the back where I can fill up my buckets. That's what that is there. So what do you say, what would you say the next uh, purchase for Stay Slick would be? The next purchase for Stay Slick would be, um, I would like to get a nicer carpet extractor at some point. Um, uh, a micro polisher, a little one inch polisher is another thing I'm looking to get. Uh, maybe some extra lighting. Okay. I want to run some lighting in this trailer too. Okay. What's the biggest headache or inconvenience with your setup? It would be the length. The length of it? 40 foot. There's been times where I've uh, gone to businesses and I've had to back my trailer up or go straight in and back out because there's other vehicles around. Or yeah. You, you cover the whole front of the house with this setup, you know? Uh, so what do you, like, how do you work around that? Sometimes I just put cones out, park a little bit further out. Yeah. Uh, if there's, like, cars parked here, I'll park in front of them like that. Or I just had to get really good at backing my trailer up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I practice in a, in a parking lot you yeah. know, when I first got it, so. Has there ever been, like, an occasion where, I don't know, maybe your truck just didn't fit and you had to tell the customer, like, hey, you know what, I don't know, I, I can't, or? Um, it's, there's never been a situation where I didn't do the job. There's just been a situation where we had to move the car out on the street so I could do it as opposed to, uh, you know, just I would never tell a customer I can't do it. We're going to find a way. OK. You know, there's there's other times where I've literally parked around the corner from a house and they brought their car over for me to do it, too. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, for someone that's starting, right, what would be your top three essentials for startup? Uh, well, you're going to have to have uh, buckets. Obviously, uh -huh. you're going to have to have uh, drying towels. Um, I would put drying towels and wash mitts and stuff the same, right? Because yeah, yeah. you know, you're gonna have to have uh, buckets, and then um, I would say there'd be two chemicals: uh -huh. Super Clean and Optima No Rinse. Okay. Mm -hmm. So get your chemicals, yeah, buckets, and you said drying towels, towels, right? You can get away with just that. All right, guys, there you have it. You saw my trailer set up. You saw what I'm working with. If you guys have any advice, uh, any recommendations of things that I could do to make my life easier. Uh, if you guys have any questions about what I have, just go ahead and uh, let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to ask me personal questions or you want to follow my journey, you can follow me on YouTube at Stay Slick. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Stay Slick Auto Detail. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys have a good one.